Right, in today's session we're going to be looking at free radical substitution and specifically the reaction with methane and chlorine. Methane is an alkane as we already know and it is highly unreactive. Uh, it is only used as a fuel and chlorine in itself under normal conditions such as uh, at room temperature and normal light does not react with methane at all. So something needs to happen to one of these in order for it to become reactive and uh, form what is known as uh, chloromethane, for instance. Now, if you think about chlorine, chlorine is a gas, it's also in group 7 and it exists as a diatomic molecule. So chlorine exists like this. I'm just going to draw the dot cross diagrams to highlight the electrons around the outer shell of the chlorine. Now, what tends to happen is that in order for these to become free radicals you need some UV light and the UV light is or has enough energy to break this bond over here which means that one of these electrons uh, or each of the chlorine electrons will go back to its original uh, chlorine to form what could be described as uh, atomic chlorine. And you've got one, two, three paired electrons and one unpaired electron there. And again, similarly, in this atomic chlorine, you've got one, two, three paired electrons and one unpaired electron there. And these uh, species are known as free radicals. They are very, very reactive free radicals, free radicals, a species with a unpaired electron. Now, what we can do is react these free radicals uh, with methane, but before that uh, we can represent this stage which is known as initiation by the following uh, for following equation. Okay, we had atomic, sorry, we had molecular chlorine and we re put it under UV light and we formed two chlorine free radicals. Following on from the initiation step we have a step known as propagation and considering we're reacting the chlorine free radical with a methane what I can do is show you how this works both I'm going to start off by showing this as displayed formula and then the equation beneath it. So methane has the formula CH4 so that's carbon with four hydrogens and we're reacting that with a chlorine free radical. Uh, remember when representing chlorine free radical to represent or place a dot next to it to indicate that it's a free radical and what the chlorine does is it removes a hydrogen from the methane itself to form hydrogen chloride and leaves a methyl free radical there. That's because this here is a covalent bond and the hydrogen and chlorine are sharing their electrons together again and we have a unpaired lone electron on the methyl free radical over here which makes it a free radical. And we can represent that as CH4 plus Cl gives you HCl plus ACH3 free radical. As the free radical is on the carbon there, therefore we should in theory represent the free radical on the carbon at that point. Now if you think about it, we have in theory used up a free radical and then generated another free radical and that free radical can then take part in another reaction and if you think about it, the molecules that we have in the mixture are uh, the methane, the chlorine free radical, now the methyl free radical can go and hit another chlorine molecule and in this instance we're going to be forming a couple of things again. We are going to be forming chloromethane which is that molecule there plus another chlorine free radical and again in this instance what we have done is we have 